All right, so we're about halfway through summer vacation. <laughs> All the parents were like, all right, and your kids might be feeling a little bored being stuck at home, but it's being bored such a bad thing. My kids better be watching this segment. Today, <laughs> Amber Thomas is here with us, the Chief Clinical Officer at Crossroads Health with some tips for parents whose kids maybe just all need a little bit of motivation, right? Right. Yes, right. we were talking, so she doesn't have kids, but she had nieces and nephews, yes. right? And I feel like, my older brother had kids before I did. So like, Auntie was the cool one. Yeah, right? and it was really great to be the cool one. Yes, <laughs> right? But you said like they, the way that they are grown now, yeah. the things that you taught them along the way. Uh, I, really, they, they really took in and some of those memories and yeah. they were not memories that were based on doing a lot of sports and organized activities and very structured mm. things. They were just playing out in the backyard with twigs and sticks yeah, or building forts, building forts mm -hmm. you know, using boxes to create things. Yes. You know, and, and you talk about sports, which I feel like maybe parents have a lot of pressure mm -hmm. on getting their kids enrolled in sports. I know yes. we're feeling that because we're about that age now. My oldest just made travel soccer. That's a huge thing. You know, it's like, do we do yeah. it? Do we not? Um, but that can be important and that's a good thing, but mm -hmm. you don't always have to do that. You don't always have to. And in fact, it's really good to balance yeah. providing those opportunities for socialization and learning and doing a sport with having time to just be bored. Right. Boredom is really great for helping to build skills yeah. in kids, yeah. you know, creative thinking, problem solving, planning. Right. You know, so that they, they can start to have freedom to just be able to express themselves yeah. and and you know figure out who they are mm -hmm. as a as a person. All right, parents, come look look at the screen. We have some parent tips that we're going to throw up there. Um, let's t let's kind of run down this list. Stop helping them avoid it. So talk more about that. Yeah. Well, in boredom can be a, a very uncomfortable feeling. Yes. I mean, we mm -hmm. feel it too as adults. Yes. And we look to make it go away. And I think, I, and I think the technology and all that yes. has something to do with it, right? We yes. always have to be doing something. Yeah. If you instead of just sitting there and letting your brain rest uh -huh. and relax, which is really critical to help us with being able to make our learning stick. Yes. You know, right. and to let our brains recharge, we want to fill it with things. And so, just recognizing boredom isn't something that has to be avoided, mm -hmm. and. It's also hard, it's easier said than done because when you have kids crying and coming to yeah. you, you know, wanting you to help them with that, you, it's, you wanna help them and you wanna be able to give them something to do. Um, but sometimes helping have those proactive strategies mm -hmm. is, is really good. So kids under five, yeah. you know, having a, a box or a closet that has rainy day activities and, and work with them to figure out things that they might like to do. And I think a lot of us hear that stigma of if my mm -hmm. kid's bored, then it's going to lead to trouble. Yeah, it's right? going to lead to trouble or they're going to be lazy mm -hmm. or I'm not doing enough as a parent to give right. them enriching opportunities. I feel like I've said that recently to my <laughs> husband because mine are at that stage. We are halfway yeah. through the month. We haven't been on our summer vacation yet. It's like, what do I do now? There's a lot of pressure on parents there to, is. to do that. And I think for some of us, I know my kids are ages between three and 10. It's getting them to all do um, mm -hmm. the same thing at times. It doesn't have to be like that, but that's a struggle in my house yeah. right now yeah. because then the little one wants to keep up with the big ones and right. she can't and she gets frustrated. Right. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and so that in itself sometimes can be good for kids because then they have to work out how do they resolve conflict together? Yeah. How do they deal with maybe difficult feelings? And maybe having some of those developmentally appropriate activities or activities that are good for all ages. Mm -hmm. um, some parents I know have, have done really well with saying, you know, before you can have screen time, you're going to do one thing to learn something. Yes. One thing to move your body, one thing to help the family, yeah. uh, one thing to create. Put your clothes away. Yeah, put your clothes away. Go build a Lego, Duke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go work your yeah. brain, right? Go work your and brain. And then you talk about taking your nieces and nephews and outside and building mm -hmm. forts. And obviously, it's summertime. Go yeah. out, enjoy it. But nature, exercising yes. is very healthy yeah. for the brain. It is so healthy for the brain. Even for us adults. Yeah. Like, after I go on yes. a jog or a walk, I can feel better. Well, in, in a walk, sometimes that gives you a chance just to center yourself and mm -hmm. to reflect to, um, it, it sometimes can be energizing for your brain to really think things through. So just taking a walk in nature, sometimes having a, a nature scavenger hunt yeah, is really fun for kids, go. you know, that you can write out in advance, you know, these are the things for you to find yeah. out in the backyard. Now, I know we talked about kids five and younger, but 
Mm -hmm. Is there some examples for the older kids? I know they like to go towards technology and they're like, yes. it's summer, I'm done with homework. Yeah. This is my chill time, parents are at work. Well, I think giving them some independence and, and they're needing to generate mm -hmm. their own ideas. And there's a lot of studies that show that the more independence kids have and more unstructured time, the better their mental health. So letting them, maybe giving them some general categories of, you know, today is a day you're gonna figure out how to create something. You can think of yeah. whatever you wanna create and I can help you think of some ideas, but really, you know, letting them be in charge yeah. of figuring some of those things out. Exactly. Kids, did you get all that? <laughs> Go do something. Go work your brain. Yes. Go run a few laps around the house. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Amber. Yeah. All good advice. Everything will be on our website, fox8.com, if you uh, need a little bit of a refresher course. All right, more Fox 8 when we come back.